Today we have this lovely um, Hockenheim Silver BMW S55 in competition. Um, equipped with the 410 horsepower version of the engine. Uh, Tesla's done a few upgrades already. So under the bonnet he's added the Eventuri carbon intakes which do complement sort of carbon brace and obviously carbon cover is covered on there. And these appear to give them a little bit more power as well over standard. Um, on top of that, so th this is one of the hardware upgrades he's done. He's also done the Remus bat box as well. So this is me a stage one tune, standard cat, standard PPF, standard middle box still in place. Um, uh, got the break up factory brake upgrade here, which is humongous in these wheels. Nicely painted wheels as well with some little carbon splitters on there. Uh, move around to the back of the car. Okay, it's a nice to tasteful carbon diffuser. A little bit on here, the lip. Uh, even got a carbon wrap roof. Uh, and with the Remus bat box, which again has improved the soundtrack for him on there. So today is just literally stage one only. So I'm going to run it standard. Uh, and then at our stage one tune. Right, so a couple of other features that uh, are obviously included in the map. We remove the uh, speed limiter, so you've got the V match removal. Um, also, the sport dials are recalibrated for the new outputs on here. So, as you can see, now the power now goes to 640 and the torque goes to 560 on there. Uh, we've actually coded this as well because the customer preferred the, um, the orange colours to match his stitching. And we've also done the video in motion so you can now watch the uh, movers and drive along for his passengers, obviously, on there. Um, like I said, we did add some overrun onto it, but it's not audible on this because of the PPF filters. But if they get removed, then you get a bit more volume. Right, so we've uh, finished tuning the uh, M2. Great results. I think we massively exceeded expectations for us and the customer, probably down to the uh, intake, maybe even the back box on this one from ones we've seen before. Final results wise, so just run through the uh, standard power. So. Normally we see between sort of 405 to sort of 415 on these, around 410 on average. This one's obviously made another 15 on top, again probably down to the intake and exhaust system on there. Um, standard torque makes 
about 570 newton meters and we're now at 680 so we're going 110 newton meters peak power wise 100 horsepower here crazy gains from just software only um, from the word go as soon as you come on to boost throughout the whole rev range it's making more power no matter where uh, this is also a manual car as well uh, which we've kind of brought the torque in quite progressive so it runs about 1.2 bar to 1.3 bar and then throughout we have to bump up the boost pressure to get this higher figure uh, but this gives a nice linear delivery that the customer is looking for. We can raise them up to say about 740, 750, so you arc it over a little bit more, but then you can lose some traction issues and some drivability. Probably a bit too much for the standard clutch on a manual as well, whereas at least a DCT you can increase the, increase the clutch pressures on there. So yeah, um, got to take off the dyno, hopefully the customer will go over the moon. Um, we're getting to do a little test drive, see what he thinks. Uh, he did ask us to add some pops and burbles, but with these PPF filters in, can't really add much more because it makes no difference till they're removed. Uh, we'll show you some of the data logging as well. Right, to give you an idea of what sort of the car does standard, um, this line here to here is RPM, so this is 2000, that's 7.5, so that's literally throughout the dyno run on there. Um, looking at the logs, you can see this is intake. Uh, we start the run at 22 degrees, and we drop down, sorry, 24, we drop down to 22. And at the top of the rev range it climbs up by another two degrees so these charge coolers work really well especially with standard software on there uh, so start at 22 drop to 22 up to 22 so not even worth talking about in terms of intakes on there uh, boost pressure wise so you can see here um, deviation is the difference from request and actual we're not too worried about that at the minute so that is essentially one bar of boost on there because you have a thousand HPA roughly of atmosphere pressure on there. So you can see 0.9 bar and the top end tails down to 0.8 on there. So not much boost pressure at all, which is where we get a lot of the gains from. Um, moving over to the stage one. So this is the stage one tune, and this is obviously how we've delivered this torque delivery running through sort of boost and intake temps. So the room got a little bit warmer. As you can see, we actually start with an extra 10 degrees from earlier on, just as we've done a few power runs and sort of going through the tuning process on there. So throughout the run, this drops down to 31 at the lowest. So we've already started a higher one, and then it climbs back up obviously with the increased boost pressure, still only to 35 degrees. So intakes to stock charge cooler, still working fantastic. Um, right, again, boost pressure. So to create this, uh, boost pressure, sorry, this um, this progressive torque curve, we actually start at 1.2 bar of boost, around 3.5 RPM, and as you see, as you go through the rev range on there, increases 4,000, still 1.3 1 bar, 1.4 bar, and you've got 1.5 bar at 5,000 RPM. And then from that point, turbo starts dropping a bit where the stock turbo is running out of flow and puff probably exhaust restriction on here would help so removing the cat and the ppf filters but yeah roughly 1.2 climbing to 1.5 bar gives us the power we've seen today which is just under 530 which is fantastic results for a standard cat and standard ppf filter car